have a word for you. I had a dream the other night of a little girl just telling her dad how hard it was to wait on God. The dad just picked her up, held her close on his lap. And I found myself waking up praying for this little girl. The little girl, I believe, is the church. You know, there was a disciple called Peter. He was so confident that he would never deny Jesus. And yet Jesus told him he would, and he even came back again and said, stay awake, be alert, Peter, that you may not be tempted. But he was good. He was so confident that he just didn't feel like he needed to do what God had told him to do. But we all know the outcome of that story. He failed miserably and his confidence just wasn't there at the time that he needed it to be. How often do I hear what God's saying? And I'm all excited. I know it's what he's saying to me. Yet, I don't take the time to stop and listen and do the word that he's asking me to do. And then, not long after that, I find myself in this mess going, God, what happened? Or even worse, why did you allow this to happen? Yet the whole time, God's trying to say, hey, stop. Listen, wait, but now is the time. He's saying, now is the time to wait. Are you going to hear his heart, his longing? He's saying, come, come deeper with me. Do you hear what he's saying? Not just do you hear what he's saying. Are you going to do it? Come on, let's go.